lecture. It's a pleasure having you once again in our show. And for us, it's a very, very uh, um, important and exciting moment right now because we are here at the Kids Country Club with Che Grove. Welcome to our show. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Thank you very much. And uh, the story you're going to hear today uh, is a very, very uh, nice story of people uh, doing, uh, putting love first, first of everything they do. They are always uh, looking for the happiness of not only uh, the kids they're taking care of, but the whole family. So we're going to let uh, Cherry tell us the story. What is the Kids Country Club? Um, Kids Country Club, uh, it was originally the, the uh, legal name is Parents of Technologically Dependent of Children of Ontario. And uh, it was named that because uh, families who need a respite pulled together. They met at hospitals when their kids were receiving treatment and they identified that they really had a need for rest and a time to relax uh, so they actually lobbied the government to get funding to uh, open this house originally and now we affectionately call it Kids Country Club because the other name is very hard to say um, but what we do is we offer 24-hour respite to medically fragile children uh, medically fragile and or technologically dependent kids so these are kids that at home would require um, care 24 hours and uh, as you can imagine their families don't uh, get much of a break some kids don't sleep very much during the night um, so they come here for between it's always overnight uh, anywhere for up to a week about four times a year and uh, we have very trained staff uh, uh, always a nurse always a PSW or a DSW working uh, and they offer very holistic care to the kids that are here uh, the children have fun <laughs> <laughs> we have one coming now. <laughs> have a good time while they're at the program. They meet their friends. Uh, staff organize uh, outings for them sometimes, daily crafts, uh, what the kind of food they like, whatever it is. Um, and their kids get there, their family gets to rest and have a few days to just take it easy and sleep if they need sleep or yeah. vacation. It's an amazing place. That you feel the love and you feel the, 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 the kindness of everybody here. Especially when you see the kids and uh, the, you realize the needs they have, and uh, not only theirs, is uh, their families. Uh, you realize how, what is going on behind the scenes, behind behind mm -hmm. these kids, and uh, which is really uh, uh, the biggest point here. And uh, you would tell us uh, behind camera that, that you receive about eight kids. Normally? Yes, we, we can, we're licensed for up to eight children a day. We rarely have that many in care a day because we, we measure their care needs by um, their medical, uh, how high their medical needs are, their developmental needs. Um, and so obviously we're, because we're only funded with two staff a day, uh, we have to uh, look at the kids that are coming into care and measure out properly how many you know how many kids can be in that day so it, it ranges anywhere some days uh, there's only two children because one or the other child might have a very high medical need and require consistent medication and uh, uh, different medical um, assistance where other kids require less so the ones that require less then there's more of them that come in. And then we have to think about too, how to fit them in each room. We have um, uh, our two beds set up in each room and kids have to be uh, obviously same sex to be in the same room, but they also have to enjoy each other's company to be in that. So we have kids, some kids that aren't a good fit together, so. Yeah, Jay, something that uh, is, I think is very important for our viewers to understand the the center the, the, the house is specialized in fragile kids yes. and technically dependent yes. can you explain as what is exactly that? Yeah, it's something that I had not understood either before I came here, but it is an actual diagnosis. Most of our kids have complex care needs, so uh, they might have developmental needs, but also um, have different disorders that uh, deem them uh, diagnosed as medically fragile. Technologically dependent means that they either have a, a life-saving device 
or a life-providing um, uh, device like uh, oxygen or um, a feeding tube or a trach, things like that, that offer uh, um, support for them to keep them alive. And without that, they wouldn't, they wouldn't survive. It is incredible how fragile they really are. You can see they're perfect. They're yeah. just jumping around, but they're inside of them. There's something that is really putting them at risk. Yes, yes. Okay, we're going to stop here for one moment and we're going to go for a small break, but we come back to the Kids Country Club and Cherry Grove. Have you done something good today? coming to Kids Country Club? Mm -hmm. I feel great. You like it? Yeah. How much do you like it? Wow, that's a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much, CJ. Mm -hmm. And uh, have fun? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about you? Well, I have a really long time back here. How old are you? Four. Oh, four. How often you come here? Why they should come here often? Often, yeah. You have fun here? Yeah. You love it? Yeah. And you love everybody here? Yeah. What do you do when you come? Uh, I play in here and uh, I really like to play. Do you go places, Brady? Yeah, I always go to a ball. I mean, it's, I find uh, uh, children are happy anyway, no matter what is in, in front of them in life, whether they're facing uh, a really serious illness or not. They're, they're usually very hopeful and happy, and uh, this is a fun place. So they come and they play, they meet their friends, uh, they love the staff, the staff love them. It's a very different kind of uh, care environment than, say, a hospital where people don't really have time to develop relationships with the children. Our staff develop one-on-one -on -one relationships with them and help to care for them based on their needs. Do you want to show me your bedroom? You want to give them a tour of your bedroom, Brady? Oh, you did it. Here. Can I put that away for you? I can do it. Okay. Oh, nice. Where are you with these?
it's amazing to see how the kids get together and get along very very yeah. easy and it's like yeah nothing is going on and they're usually happy a lot of a lot of uh, families will plan their respite around what other children are going so the kids get to make friends and then the, it's like a time away where they get to visit a friend yeah. so uh, a lot come at the same time and and we plan it that way to make this day uh, more enjoyable more enjoyable for them almost like going to camp Okay, we're going to stop here for one moment and we're going to go for a small break, but we come back to the Kids Country Club and Cherry Grove and we're going to talk about what, how can you be a part of them and how can you help them too. There's too many things that you're going to be amazed. How can you bring more happiness, more um, resources yes. for, yeah. for them and they need it. So we'll be back in one moment. Guess what guys, kindness is free. Country Club and Cherry Grove, uh, there's something really important that always any organization like yours uh, uh, need, yes. you know, resources and yes. uh, help. How can they help? Um, there's a lot of ways. Uh, they can help by, uh, first of all, just promoting, because uh, I think that because we're a very um, a small organization with, with limited resources, if they want to volunteer, that's also something that uh, we always like to have some extra hands if we're going out on outings. Uh, sometimes uh, if all of our kids are in a wheelchair that day, just having someone come and help push is, is really, really helpful. Um, we're also looking for advocates in the community to work on our board of directors to help direct how things happen here. People that maybe have good connections with uh, or resources, uh, a good example is uh, we have an accountant that's on our board so he helps with different uh, financial background. We also have an HR specialist on our board and a lawyer. Um, and the other is if you have the means to help in any small way financially, um, just this year our families have had to pay for respite and it's the first time we've ever had to implement a fee for service. Uh, we had to do that because we haven't received increase in, in our funding for over eight years. Uh, we have some sponsors that will say I'd like to call and provide respite for a child for a week yeah. or a year or a day, you know, it doesn't really matter. So it offsets the cost of the family, then they don't have to, um, they don't have to pay that fee. Currently, uh, if a family is unable to pay, we never turn them away because of an inability to pay. The service is just far too important, but we do like to find donors in the community that would help too. I can imagine the expenses the families yes. are, are going through with the Absolutely, needs of the kids. absolutely. And you know, a lot of our families need specialized equipment at home or beds, um, uh, diets, like just. You know, it's unbelievable the amount of stress that they're under, yeah. so it's tough. Um, and then other things, simple things, equipment. Uh, you know, we were lucky enough in the last while to have a kitchen donated to us by a local business. Um, we we receive support in very different ways, um, but we get creative with our community. And we we need, for instance, we need a new fence right now. So, you know, there's a lot of little things that businesses can do to help. Um, you know, we've been trying to get our flooring done here because we have not our our floors have transitions in them, and a lot of times it's hard to get a wheelchair over, or kids don't like the transition to walk over. So. Yeah. The first day we came, uh, we had a tour. This this bed that you are watching right now, it was a bed that was donated to them, and the bed was um, about fifteen thousand dollars. What yeah, it cost yeah. the bed? So they can afford it was a donation, uh, but the importance of having this type of bed in this uh, house, the service is providing for a kid is immense. So that's what the way you can help. Okay, so if you have something that you think is going to be helping this organization, please contact uh, uh, Cherry or 
certain anime is in your screens right now and for sure they're gonna need they're gonna be extremely happy yeah. of yeah. having this this uh, help it, medical uh, equipment yeah. is really needed here so okay so Cherry thank you very much it's thank been you. a pleasure thank uh, you very congratulations much congratulations what you're doing is, is amazing is our our um, uh, organization our movement states that uh, you are always putting love first first yes and yeah. uh, that's I, I believe our people are yeah in in the face of the kids in the face of the yes. class here all right thank you very much okay so we're gonna go for a small break and we come back we're gonna talk with one of the parents with the, 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 the uses the or the services here so we'll be back in one minute. hi let's do something good today about being kind to everyone. If somebody is feeling sad, you can give them a flower. First, in, uh, with us, we have a special guest today. This is, what's the name? Brady. Brady, and? CJ. CJ, and mother? Heather, dead man. Heather, thank you for being with us. Thank you. How are you feeling today, guys? Good. Good? You happy? Yeah. Okay. I am. So we invite them to be with us today because we want them to tell us the story. What is all about the life and how is that everyday uh, um, living and uh, um, uh, taking care of kids with uh, some needs. Heather, why don't you tell us uh, your story? Um, it was a struggle for quite a few years. Uh, we had no help in our home, no help for outside services besides school. Um, we had physiotherapy, occupational therapy. We were able to finally get into Kids Country Club, which gave us some respite, which is great. He goes for little visits and comes back and we feel rested. Um, we now have in-home in care. Um, which means five days a week. They come in and get him ready for morning for school. And we have overnight help as well to make sure that he gets sleep, that he's taken care of, so I can feel rested as well. Um, daily struggles that we have are feeding, changing, clothing, sometimes walking, um, behavioral as well. So it's lots of challenges. So how do you feel? Uh, good. Good? Yeah. You're happy? Yeah. Yeah, you love coming here? Yeah. Yes? And you have friends here? Yeah. Lots of friends? Yeah. Yeah, so you love it? Yeah. Yeah? You definitely love it. Yeah. <laughs> so what is exactly what happened to him? He got sick at four months old with a brain infection called viral encephalitis. Yeah. Um, he was not to come home, but he made it. Um, with that, he has epilepsy, cerebral palsy, global developmental delay, microcephaly, which is small head. Um, he has a feeding tube, as he doesn't eat enough to maintain his daily living. Um, yeah, we just take one day at a time. And how, how he cope with all of this? How is his, his life, normal life? It's challenging. Um, when he has a seizure, it affects him, and he has to learn sometimes how to walk again. Um, it affects his hands on how to pick items up. Walking, um, even seeing, visually seeing. He um, He's always happy, though. Yeah. He, he's always good to go for the day and we get over our little behaviors in the morning and we just take it with a stride. Yeah. 
So at the beginning, I asked Hillary if she was uh, feeling comfortable talking about her son uh, uh, with him, about him um, having him beside her. She said that it's okay. So it means you have a good relation, talking uh, openly with him about everything that is yes. happening. And, yeah? Yes, definitely. Um, we're always trying new ways of improving his daily life. Yeah. We're really open with each other and what goes on for surgeries and what will be done. You tell mommy when you're sore, right? Yeah. 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 It's, it's very nice to, to see how, how uh, you both are uh, in the same page in, in uh, uh, the you can you have that opening with your son uh, talking about uh, uh, his situation and how he can yes. improve things. And uh, I can see how he feels uh, uh, very relaxed beside you and talking about that. Um, so now, uh, let's talk about the center. When you come here with the Kids uh, Country Club, uh, what, what is what are the process for you when you come here? We actually book in advance um, and we do admission on the day that we come here. Uh, the nurses and the PSWs are amazing as well as the staff to organize our stay. Um, we usually plan four months in advance at a time and there is a, a payment now with the new government yeah. um, which can sometimes be financially difficulty um, as there's always other needs. He's always needing other equipment or um, medical devices so it's a challenge to Yes. Make sure that he has everything he needs to even become here. So. But you get here and he stays for a week? In On average, two to five days. Um, yeah. He's always happy. He has, he has the capability of calling us if he needs to. We can call him. Uh, they take him out to places, to the mall, fire station, uh, for uh, walks. Um, like a taxi ride. Take taxis. Oh, nice. City bus. Oh, the city bus too. It's a home environment. You don't feel like you're yeah. living in a hospital. Yeah. It's um, a welcoming feeling. It's You're okay with handing your child over to the great care and staff that are here. How do you feel about all of this? I love this place. Um, when I need help, I email or call and there's always somebody to talk to. It doesn't matter what the problem is, they are there to help us as a family and it's nice. It's we it's a great relationship that we have with them. Have fun. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Super fun. It's super fun, yes. It's super fun, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you.